is talk to Katie. Sharing knowledge, liberating minds. Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining us on this special edition of the number one educative online broadcast, Talk to Katie. Like I told you in our previous edition that the month of September has in fact our reproductive health month. And then in our previous edition, we did justice to common female reproductive health issues and their solutions. Okay, in this edition, we'll be rounding up our reproductive health month as we look at common male reproductive health issues and their solutions. My name is Sarah Ibona. Thank you so much for joining us. To do justice to this topic today, is a well-known and respected orthopedic physiotherapist. He's a senior lecturer. He's also a senior TCF consultant. I mean, he has been lecturing since the inception of the company. That's in 2006. Okay? He's a seasoned lecturer and, of course, one of our amazing distributors. He is none other than Dr. Daniel Abawe. <laughs> Oh, guys, join me, join me, join me as we welcome Dr. Daniel Agba in the Dr. Kenny studio today. So, Dr. Daniel, you are live on Dr. Kenny. How does this make you feel today? Yes, I feel great. I feel elated and I feel honored. Um, I'm nobody according to my policies. I'm not somebody who is pronounced or announced. Just few that are around me that knows whatsoever I can do and what I'm up to. Thank you very much, Sarah, for welcoming me. And I believe God will make me do justice to this topic. All right, then. So let me allow Dr. Daniel to introduce himself briefly to our viewers. All right. Uh, if I'm to put it succinctly, mm -hmm. I have been a distributor since August 2006. That's about two months after the company came to existence. We moved from other networks to this network and we discovered the compensation and whatsoever products they are showing out are not supplementary but curative. Mm -hmm. And these products, uh, according to what I, what I said earlier, they were just only 10 products. At the moment, we are over 27 and the more are coming. If that is the case, the efficacies of our medications, I always call them medications because the orthodox are pharmacologically and pharmaceutically prepared in capsules, likewise ours. Is the difference is just the organic state of ours that does not have synthetic materials mm. that could be injurious to organs in a long time. Um, the introduction goes, my name is Daniel Agbame. I hail from Delta State. I'm an orthopedic physiotherapist. And if I should put it, <laughs> I'm a politician too. Oh, and, uh, oh, oh. I've, not been able, I've not been able to go, get into the fold and get elected. But I tried in 2007 under Jimmy Agbaje against Fashola. And um, I had to step down for one of the Omobas in Ikosu. And uh, coming to Kedi, I have some exploit in the sense that the first set of lecturers that were taken in, I was amongst them in 2007. But, uh, you know, some other jobs took me away. I came back in 2008, and since then, I'll be going out to lecture. And one of the outstanding lectures I did were the ones I had with... Um, um, Lagos State, uh, at the Lagos State uh, Sports Center, where I had to lecture in a health with belongings to building and collapse a company. And at the same time, I went to um, Digawa School of Nursing and Midwifery, where we had several uh, seasoned uh, doctors around. And I had to, the my major reason of going there is to let them know about Kedi. And I provided a formula on how to cure diabetes, mm -hmm. which is one of the problems disturbing them in the northern region. Mm -hmm. And so many other ones. One of the outstanding ones in Lagos was when Sonny Rabon Life, Inspiration FM, uh, invited me to and right away, Lucky Phase 104, to lecture the CDA members. And uh, 
it went very well because you were able to know about Kedi and right. how efficacious our products are. All right, then. So when I when I told you earlier that Dr. Daniel is a seasoned lecturer, I wasn't um, I wasn't using the wrong adjective. So I'm pretty sure that as we go on, you will really, really, really learn so much from him today. This is to talk to Kedi in case you're tuning in for the first time. This is Dr. Kedi and is coming to you from the stable of Kedi Healthcare Industries Nigeria Limited, the leading provider of quality healthcare products and services in Nigeria. This broadcast remains your surest platform for apt and accurate information about the company's offerings, about our products, our business, our events, and our promotions, as well as other contemporary issues that have the capacity to affect your health and then, of course, your business. So stay tuned fortnightly and you won't regret it. Now, back to the topic without wasting your time at all. Reproductive health is an important component of men's overall health and well being. Oftentimes, men are overlooked when it comes to the issue of reproductive health, as has been erroneously perceived as female related issues. Now, male reproductive health challenges actually are a wide range of disorders that affect the male reproductive system. And thousands of men, this is where I'm going to, thousands of men are reportedly battling with one or more of these issues. And this is a cause for is a, a thing to worry about. Now, shortly, Dr. Daniel will be taking us through the different types of male reproductive health issues that we have, their causes, their preventions, and of course, their possible solutions. Now, this is the point where you get to pick a pen and then a notepad because as soon as I hand over to our guests now, we will start hearing different, 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 different things. So please, if you have any male, of, in fact, the topic is not just for men. Even women should watch because you have husbands and then you have children, male children and all that. So this is the point where we all sit to watch and learn. And don't forget that you can also join the conversation in the comment section. As far as you tune in, make use of the comment section and talk to Kelly. If you have any question whatsoever for Dr. Daniel or you, have, you want to share your experiences with us, make use of the comment section and let's get talking. We will do justice to all of your questions before the end of this broadcast. Now, go back to Dr. Daniel, are you ready, sir? Don't forget, before I ask, we go on, send in your questions, whatever question you have, or with regards to any of our products, with regards to this topic or any of our previous topics, send in your questions, we would love to hear from you. Now, my, my first question, how would you define male reproductive health issues in the simplest term possible? Well, uh, male reproductive health issues are multiple, but we are just going to take some of the few ones. And uh, for a man to be regarded as sexually healthy is his inability to impregnate a woman. If a man can impregnate a woman and the woman conceived, he has health in sexually. But there are certain undertones because sex is not for reproduction only. It is a means of sustaining the marriage because if a sexuality is not in order, there are problems associated with it. But since a man can father a baby, can get a, a woman impregnated, it could be regarded as healthy sexually. But in the process of, of, of intercourse, there are a lot of things to be considered. If a man could sustain beyond 10 minutes, that is when we, are re we regard him as sexually healthy. Because the, the woman hardly can be aroused or get to orgasm until those period. A man who is a one minute, two minutes man will end up inconveniencing the woman. Most women will not talk about it, but a woman is left with headache because she was unable to climb us. So a man must not release before a woman. The woman must come before the man. So some of the problems that are associated with men reproductive health is ED, erectile dysfunction. We have low libido, problems with the prostate, diabetes, hypertension. All this will lead us to a lot of things. Erectile dysfunction. 
How does a man experience erectile dysfunction? Normally, a man should be able to sustain erection between 10 minutes to 35 minutes. And if a man cannot achieve erection and sustain it within this period, he will not be able to satisfy his spouse. And you talk about libido, low libido. The anatomy of the penis is very vital. The production of testosterone, which is the main hormone, is in the testes, in the testicles. And if these are not produced, according to medical science, there are certain messages that are supposed to be sent from the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland for the production of this testosterone. A low testosterone will lead to a low libido. And a low libido is what we call hypogonadism. When the gonads are not in order, there could be a problem. Then you talk about prostate disorder. If there is prostate disorder, sometimes it will lead to prostate cancer. Infections travel from the prostate to via the, 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 the ureta to the kidneys, via the ureta to the epididymis and uh, vast difference and to the testicles. At that point in time, the production of testosterone can be reduced. Then I talk about diabetes. Once diabetes is in place, which we will regard as hyperglycemia at the earlier stage, before it culminates to when a man is regarded, a man is regarded as having a high blood sugar rate leading to about 300 milligrams per deciliter and um, about, um, 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 let's say, uh, 14 above millimole per liter. This will visit the cells that produce this testosterone that is the major male hormone. The testosterone we are talking about will be presented as another word called androgen. And in that case, cells are hampered. Once diabetes is in place, there are arterial problems, atherosclerosis will set in, and the, the, the inelasticity of those arteries and blockage that may come due to sedimentation of cholesterol due to the weakness would form, will, will cause an ureter dysfunction. Then, if a prostate occurs, the prostate is attached to the epi epididymis. The prostate is the major organ that sec secretes the seminal fluid that enhances the spermatozoa secreted from the testicles. And when this copulates, it becomes the semen, which fertilizes an egg in the fallopian tube during ovulation in a woman. So, all these put together. There are other conditions that we can mention, like uh, um, urethritis, in the sense that the urethra is having a blockage due to infection. Infections like gonorrhea, chlamydia, and syphilis. And at the same time, there are times problems like herpes, which could be as a result of infections sedimented for so long will cause an inflammation in the glands, which will cause erector dysfunction. Now, psychologically, depression or stress can be um, a, a problem to man's um, erection or even sustaining it. Normally, we say old age is a vein when you talk about erection. When things are in normalcy, at 100, one can still have good erection. Mm -hmm. For example, charity begins from home. My father, who was sick at 85, at 86, I treated him with all what I had and uh, with candy medications. At 86, he started pestering my mother that he needs another wife. My father married at 86 and he was still able to sustain erection. But they, they always say that those who are old cannot produce male children. No, there's nothing like that because the chromosomes, the X and Y chromosomes will come at pu puberty. If the X and Y chromosomes weren't there, my father wouldn't have been able to uh, release the, 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 the sperm that would 
produce a baby boy. My father had uh, two girls and one baby boy. And uh, you know, some, some people will superstitiously say uh, such a person must have been, uh, the wife must have been, uh, somebody must have laid with the wife. That's why such children came out. But may I put it to you that the boy has a sparkling resemblance to me, <laughs> and I was not available throughout the period. So I put it to you that when you talk about male sexuality, age is not a problem. Like on the side of the women who hit menopause, that would reduce the supply of estrogen as to compare to testosterone. Okay, let, let me, let me, I stumbled on a research yesterday, okay, conducted by World Health Organization, and then when I saw, I, I went through the statistics, and trust me, the issue of male reproductive health issues the, is becoming alarming, okay, the increase is becoming alarming. Now, this leads me to my next question, what can we attribute this prevalence to, what can we attribute it to? Is it a men's psychological attitude towards health? What can we actually attribute to? Yes, lifestyle. We, we, really, we really do not care in this part of the world what we eat. Balanced diet is something that gives you overall health. And if you are the type that consumes excess of carbohydrates, there is tendency that the person who will hit diabetes in no time and diabetes will lead to hypertension. Let me tell you how it happens. If you consume too high carbohydrates, the digestion takes a little of it, absorbs it, but the quantity that is left is distributed, especially sedimenting in the adipose layer. And the extra is converted by the hepatic vein of the liver to fat. And once converted to fat, it goes into the bloodstream, makes the blood viscous. And once blood becomes viscous, flow to the genitals as, as at when a rosa comes, become deficient. And if there is no flow to the genitals, there is no turgidity, there is no erection at all. And for erection to be sustained, Whatsoever quantum that is regarded is locked up there. When you look at the human blood of an adult, it's about 4.5 um, 4, 4. 4. 5 to 5 liters. And in a case when a rosa become, comes in place, about 25% is sent to the genital for turgidity. So if the flow or the arteries that are to bring the blood to the point of the, the, the penis, is hampered, is blocked, uh, destroyed due to condition of diabetes or viscosity in blood flow or any related arteriosclerosis that is blockage in the arteries. You don't have enough of that blood available to the genitals and that could cause infection. That could cause sexual dysfunction. Now, you talk about alcoholism and illicit drug usage. There are times you, you may have euphoria, you may be happy, you'll be agree consuming alcohol. Alcohol vitiates the production of testosterone. Medical science says that we have about uh, um, uh, 400 million of sperm produced per day. At any time a man releases sperm, he releases about 20 million. But if prevention you don't have enough of that, you have a condition of oligospermia. And oligospermia is a major thing that is dealing with even young men today. You have somebody 35 years old that has such a problem, he will not be able to fertilize a, a woman. Now, you talk about infection, STI, urinary tract, infections. If you sample two out of ten male had had such infections, and such infections will cause a problem to the production of testosterone, which is the main hormone, the main drive,
that leads to libido that will make men to perform. But generally, if I am to put it on the side of a physiotherapist, circulation is the only thing that makes, that causes in red dysfunction. If circulation is in place, every other thing will work because other things will come. When you talk about infection, infection at the point of that infection, inflammation, blood flow to that point is not present. But in a case where you drive a circulation into that place, there's tendency that blood gets there and erection would ensue. Okay, so does personal hygiene have any part to play in all of this? Yes. Personal hygiene has so much. Because um, let me, me look at typhoid. Typhoid is a typhoid salmonella, that's the bacteria, could be picked from dirty water, could be picked from rotting fruits. If you don't have personal hygiene, there's tendency that you pick such typhoid bacteria from water. Medical science says that there are some typhoid carriers that do not experience typhoid. I don't know whether you heard that. There are typhoid carriers that do not experience typhoid. If such a person should defecate in a place that is related to where all those, you know, some of those pure waters that are careless mm -hmm. produce, and you drink it, and typhoid gets into your system, you know typhoid is a type that is chronic, unlike uh, malaria that's plasmodium falciparum. Mm -hmm. It has a tendency of wearing down the red blood corpuscles, the white blood corpuscles, and you become feeble. In that case, the supply of blood, oxygenated blood for that matter, it is due to the availability of red blood corpuscles in the, in the bloodstream. But if they are reduced to minimum, you become haggard, feeble, and you will not be able to attain that enriched. So you will see hygiene is something that can help. I mean, personal hygiene is something that can help gastrointestinal health, which leads to good erection. Because if you don't have good assimilation, if you don't have anything, any, anything that disturbs the GIT can affect the erection. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you mentioned some common male reproductive health issues earlier. Yeah. But are there others you'd like to mention? And what are their causes? So that our viewers can remove some of these things. Thank you. Uh, diabetes is one of the causes of erectile dysfunction. Oh. And I have told you, uh, we inherited it. Oh. In the sense that the kind of food that is mostly available to us is carbohydrate. Mm. And we eat it in volume. And even when we eat it, we eat it late night thereby causes sedimentations, thereby causes non-usage on things that will not digest and thereby hamper our health. Once diabetes is in the system, the cells become fluffy. It hampers the circulatory system, the blood vesicles, the blood arteries, the blood veins, thereby leading to a condition of circulation problem. That's diabetes. Then we talk about infections. Infections like gonorrhea, syphilis, has a way of bringing the production of testosterone down. And when testosterone is down, it can lead to the sexual dysfunction we are talking about. Then, if I have to go high end, we have a condition called CODI, oh. which is an inflammation to the glands. The glands is the tip of the penis. I would have done a little anatomy of the penis. How it's structured. Any part of it that does not work or is infected will lead to sexual dysfunction. Then I still talk about prostate. The prostate I talk about Sometimes infections would cause it. 
sometimes old age, 65 years above, if somebody is a type that sits for too long or wears synthetic parts or travels a long period, there is tendency that prostate will come to be. And prostate can be defined as inability to urinate or ur frequent urination that leads to deviation in the production of seminal fluid. The seminal fluid I'm talking about is produced in the prostate. And when there is prostatitis or prostate cancer, erection is always hampered. Because seminal fluid is one of the fluid that coplace with the spermatozoa for release of fertilization. Right. Thank you so much, sir. If you are just tuning in, this is Still Talk to Kedi, and we are talking about common male reproductive health issues and their solutions. If you have any questions for us, make use of the comment section and let's get talking. And now to my next question, sir. Are there, this uh, male reproductive health issues, can they be prevented? Yes, why not? How? You mentioned hygiene. Yeah. If a man is sexually hyperactive, which we call hypergonadism, you cannot do without sexual intercourse in a day. Mm -hmm. The best way is to use the condom. And if you know that you are the type that cannot use the condom, you make sure your, your partner uses the female condom. That is on one part. If peradventure you talk about diabetes as, we talked about diabetes as a major problem. The best way is to wash what one eats. Because we need about 5% of carbohydrate in every meal. And in a case where you eat excess of it, as I told you, it's going to be converted to fat. See, as I say it, medically, I understand it. But to a layman, how can carbohydrate be converted to fat? Let's take, for example, if you put sugar on a, a fry pan, and you melt it, what do you see? It turns to an emotion. It turns sticky. That state is a fatty state. Mm. So imagine what happens. The liver converts that excess sugar to fat. And that fat goes with the bloodstream, makes the blood viscous. You know, the, the arteries are connected to capillaries. And capillaries are tiniest of the arteries. It's, they are like hair stride. Your hair stride has a hole. Imagine your hair stride trying to have a fluid, viscous fluid like the blood with fat passing through it. The end of it will not receive energy as to what the bloodstream carries, thereby leading to lack of circulation. And the genital is the target. If such arteries, capillaries towards the genital, which we call uh, uh, corpora uh, carbonosa, carbonosa, which is a major uh, architecture of the penis. That means there will be no erection if the capillaries are blocked. And I still mentioned a condition called atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is an in 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 elasticity of arteries leading to the genitals. And the best way to avert that is to make sure we use things that will make the arteries supple. Mm -hmm. I give you an example. If you had used a hose to suck fuel for a long time, in no time if that hose gets hardened. I don't know. Did you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you use a hose, a hose that is very soft, to suck fuel for a long time, and that hose gets hardened, mm -hmm. the vacuuming, the ability to suck the fuel with such hose will not happen. The arteries that will return, the veins that will return the oxygenated blood are supposed to be elastic. Once they become inelastic, they will hamper the flow. 
nice atherosclerosis. So if that is the case, there are many kind of medications that we we'll use to make those arteries supple and bring them to normal. Yes. Okay. So then we we'll talk about um, things relating to, I think I've talked about infection. Yes, you have. Uh, lifestyle, which I have talked about, is something that we should imbibe. Now, whosoever that needs to eat, should eat quality food, especially fiber. But Kedi, the advent of Kedi nullifies whether you know it or not, because there are medications that I will read out later that will help in taking care of these problems of male sexuality. All right, sir. So in your clinical experience, sir, tell us which of these causes can be treated and which of these causes can just be managed. Yes, candy wise, all of them can be treated. Okay. As I told you, I was sent to School of Nursing and Midwifery. And when I got there, I let them know that diabetes that is being managed in the hospitals with injections with insulin 15 minutes before food are not what I have brought to you, but I have brought to you a mathematical thing that will take away such problems. And one of the, 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 the medications we have is the well. The well is a de-emulsifier. What I mean by that, emulsion is viscous, is thick. When the well comes into the place, it de-emulsifies it. It supplies enough insulin to use up the sugar in the system, thereby reversing that high milligram per deciliter that a diabetic patient is known for. And I have tried it many times. Those who have diabetes and they've been, uh, uh, they've been discharged from uh, uh, those high-end hospitals, I had to give them the aware for a period of one month and they got okay. Then infection. If you are to <laughs> really go by Ikedi's ability to treat infection, you will be marveled. Uh, once upon a time, somebody somewhere in England was to treat uh, ovarian cyst fibroids and not dis di disclosing the status of HIV. Mm. HIV is dreaded in this country. HIV leads to it. But with Kedi Reshi applied properly according to BMI, body mass index, and the state of health of the person GIT, the gastrointestinal, you'll be able to achieve curing syphilis, staphylococcus, uh, gonorrhea, what have you, wicked reshi. And the basis of the production of testosterone lies in macro and micro elements like calcium, Magnesium, zinc, citrate, iron, amino acid, derivatives of protein, and so on. If that is the case, we cannot nullify the usage of our calmazine. Calmazine is so loaded that if paraventure you use one per day, your production of testosterone, which is the male hormone, which is the sex drive, will step up. That is after having used the clinical antibiotics to cleanse whatsoever infection that is residual in the system. One of my clinical experience was a nurse who I used to send before me to handle some work if I am busy in case of broken bones, in case of skeletal defects. This nurse was treating an infection for a very long time which she never disclosed to me and I told her the orthodox is stereotyped in the sense that as it has stopped, it has stopped. But the harbor is still being experimented and still being used, and we are shipping. Now, I gave her a reshi cup to use. And do you know what she was suffering from? PID, perfect inflammatory disease. And at any time she has sex, she will not enjoy herself because she's going to experience pains. 
the cervix and duct inflamed and at any penetration. As I said, I, I skipped the anatomy of the penis. A, a penis is about 4.5 to 7 inches. And if a man has a 4.5, it's long enough to take care of any sexuality because the average vagina uh, size is about uh, 4 inches, which is about 10 centimeters. And in a case when anyone has such that is properly arose, he should be able to have satisfaction. Until he shows up, because some of the people who come to the clinic may not disclose. We need to diagnose. And our diagnosis bringing out infection and whatsoever can be handled clinically with Kelly. There are other medications that we need to analyze, but time will not allow us to do that. The Vico Essential is a product that is loaded with things like condescent militaries that can act even as an anti-infection, that can act in the boosting of testosterone. So if by KD standard, you expect Dr. Dance to start with revive, but when you look at the semen, at the spermatozoa, it's loaded with elements, and those elements are available in this. Then I come to circulation defense. Cordyroya jelly is a medication that sometimes is forgotten when it comes to sexual dysfunction. Cordyroya jelly has a way of penetrating into the arteries and making them supple. One of the ingredients there in a cordyroya jelly is laden with about 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. And vitamin C is a de-emulsifier. When I use the word de-emulsifier, it may look strange. It's a way of reducing a viscous stain to flow. If blood is in a slight state, it gets to parts of the body faster than when it is thick. So cordyroya jelly comes to play before the almighty revive. So there is no sexual dysfunction that cannot be cured with Kelly. Now, we come to the aspect of exercise. Do you know a physical exercise liberates the whole circulatory system of excess fat? At any time you exercise, blood flow gets heightened. The human body has medically 72 times per minute blood flow from the heart, 72 times per minute. But at any time you are engaged in an exercise, it increases to about 100 to 130 per minute. And if that is the case, it makes blood that never got to the cells that are needing it get to it. And that brings me to that almighty equipment we have as a circulatory machine. That circulatory machine is not noticed by most distributors. And you know, at any sales of any circulatory machine by our business, it takes you to about 500 PV and 450 PV. That's on the compensation side. But the health value of that circulatory machine is something that I need to apply now. For example, the first on the list is problems relating to sexuality. If you sat on that machine properly, the machine touches your prostate, touches your scrotum, that haggles the testes, that's the testicles, revitalizing flow of blood in there. And production becomes hyper, gets to a level when the testosterone level gets heightened. And once millions of cells are being produced due to the availability of, of uh, blood, of oxygenated blood in those places, such problems of ED can be eliminated. Now, if the machine is used, it clears eyesight. The machine used, it enables turgidity to happen because all the structure of the penis is laden with sporginess of cells and tissues, and until they are engorged with blood, there is no erection. Until they are engorged with blood that will not return as fast, 
erection is sustained. Ability to sustain erection should be between, let's say, 10 minutes to 35 minutes. Though there are conditions that the medical science call hypism, which will enable a man to achieve erection beyond two hours, three hours, which is abnormality, which is an abnormality. But a sustenance of erection between 10 minutes to 25 minutes is enough for satiety for the woman to be satisfied. So clinically with KD, I have no problem with sexual dysfunction. Charity begins from home. My, my father had turgidity before death at 98. My oh. father-in-law had turgidity before death at 103 because the last bone was three years as at the time he died. Oh. So all these are from KD. And if for adventure you need all this information in privacy, may I uh, let them know they can visit me on my WhatsApp and Instagram. Okay. We'll get the mm -hmm. We'll get the mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we have a question okay. from one of our viewers on Instagram. And okay. it says, oh, okay, okay, okay. Dear mm -hmm. Mami on Instagram, he said, can I talk to Mr. Daniel personally? Okay, Mr. Dima Miss, yeah, before the end of this broadcast, I will let you know how you can reach Mr. Daniel personally. But you have to service me, eh? <laughs> you are Mr. Daniel, you have to service me. Yes, okay. Before I dish out my final question to Mr. Daniel, let me just remind you of a few things. The first one is the fact that our uh, Kelly September to November program is still on. Our uh, special mind blowing promo for September to November is still on. Visit our Facebook page or our Instagram handle to get the promo flyer and then participate in the promo and win amazing prizes. Our mega product promo is also on. Okay, this one is for existing distributors only. Our special mind blowing promo is for existing distributors and new distributors while our mega product promo is for existing distributors only. It also run till 30th of November 2021. And now the, the third promo is KD Registration Hour promo. This one is for new distributors only. You register and be, as soon as you register, you get one KD Gum Care Toothpaste free instantly, okay? So this promo is for new distributors only and it's valid till 31st of December. 2022 okay not 2021 i mean when people say 21 no it is 2022 31st of december don't forget that our 2022 car award promo is also on this one is valid till 28th of february 2022 if you need um the promo flyer just visit our website www.kdls.com or visit our instagram handle at Kelly Healthcare underscore official or our Facebook page at Kelly Healthcare Industries. You will get the promo flyer there and please join the race and win amazing prizes. And now don't forget that our Benne Republic um, Service Center ownership promo will be wrapping up on 30th of September. That's just next week, Thursday. So you have just one week. One week if you are interested in expanding your business, you would like to own a service center in Benne Republic. Okay. Contact us today and then we offer you 50% price slash to own a service center in Benin Republic. And don't forget that all editions of our Kennedy's magazine are available. Get yours, get yours, and get yours. Our disease angle is also available. If you have any questions for Dr. Daniel, please keep them coming. Dr. Daniel is still here. Now, don't forget that you can also advertise your business on Kennedy's magazine. Can advertise your business can you can you know and now we, we can help you announce to the world what you do okay so just contact the editor on 08033406476 if you would like to share your Kelly story on the next edition of Kelly's Bar magazine also contact the editor you can send a mail to info at kdls.com don't forget that all our social media platforms are active round the clock just for you on Facebook we have an account Kelly Headquarters Lagos on Facebook, we have a page at Kelly Healthcare Industries. On Instagram, we are at Kelly Healthcare underscore official. On LinkedIn, we are at Kelly Healthcare. Don't forget that we also have a YouTube channel 
at Kelly Healthcare. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today. Don't forget our mobile application, Kelly Care app. Download yours today. And of course, our website, www.kellyhealth.com. Before I take my doctor cap tip for this week, let me take my last question, Dr. Daniel. Now, we have so many Kelly products for some of these common um, male reproductive health issues. You have mentioned quite a lot, but do you have anyone you want to add? Like, for this particular um, male reproductive issue, you have to use this product, this Kelly product, or this one that uses this Kelly product like, specifically. Yes. If it relates to sexual dysfunction, which could be attributed to a lot of problems, there is a super being that overrides all problems that is loaded with six ingredients that can overtake whatsoever and make you effective, and that is revive. Oh. I did not mention it That's because okay. <laughs> everybody, every, every, is it the call? everybody, yeah, this is a revival. Uh, I am not trying to say all the reproductive health medications are bad. I wouldn't want to mention them. But this is super one in existence at the moment because it overrides all the problems relating to sexuality be it infection i told you there is condescent militaris which is an antibiotic that can suppress and exterminate whatsoever infection that is there in there is um, um if i'm to just mention a few um radex ginseng there is frutox epidemic these are things that would make erection super. And the erection being super for just the time you are taking it is not enough. If you are 35 to 45 years old, it's going to run in your system for about five days. Not that it's going to disturb you like as I talked about a condition called prapism. Prapism is an erection that is sustained over two hours and beyond. There, were, there was a case in the University of Illori where somebody got a roast and the thing never dropped. Wow. Yeah. And uh, that was taken to an operation because it's a condition called prapism. Kenny gives you an arosa that is mild and turgid. It locks up blood in the genitals and the return, which the oxygenation is very scanty. Thereby, sustaining turgidity in erection and making the man satisfy himself. If revive is taken, it has a way of clearing the iris, the pupil, and conditions of cataract. This, this is an aspect you don't know about revive. Conditions of cataracts can be eliminated by using revive. You know why? Because it's a circulator. It facilitates the flow of blood, and that flow of blood is what makes the janitor the, the penis is fluffy, it's made of tissues, made of muscles, and those muscles can never be like bone, but during erection it becomes like bone. With Kenny, you can overcome what we call premature ejaculation, because men are embarrassed. They would have planned a, a sexual spree, a sexual glee, that would want to take them. They would have boasted, but at the point of doing it, they might have ejaculated before getting in there, and it's an embarrassment. If for adventure you had so much money and you giving so much money to your spouse and whosoever, and you could not satisfy your woman sexually, you are a vegetable. Mm -hmm. I always, I always <laughs> it's only a vegetable that collapses very fast. If a little song comes, it collapses. But with revive, there's nothing like that. Then we talk about waist pain. All other medications do not help you against podilitis, against lumbar dislocation. The pelvic ghetto is so locked that the muscles, the piriformis muscles, the sciatic nerves connecting to those phalanges are liberated. It's at the same time anti-arthritis. 
Do you know that artritis was is always as a result of inflammation, and inflammation is because there is no flow of blood to that point. Now we talk about constipation. At any time, some of our patients take this revive. They tend to go to toilets. I don't know whether some of you have experienced that. They will tell you, I'm going to toilet too frequently. Revive is a detoxifier. It tends to clear the debris to enable better flow. Revive is something that enhances digestion. And at the same time, do you know if a woman is feeble? I use a concussion of this revive to revive the woman. To stabilize the woman, especially when when the woman had just delivered, it is a male medication. But there are ways I can use it to strengthen the opposite sex. Wow. Now, if revive is to be taken, how many capsules is needed? Two capsules at a time with warm water. Why warm water? Is to hasten the digestion because it's organic. Sometimes when you see orthodox medications, they are laden with synthetic material that are injurious. But this one is fully organic, fully herbal, and it needs such warmth to be sustained. If one wants, it, if one is hungry and it does not have any food around, I always say my therapy: take chilled water. Cold water will quench the, the, the aberrance of those digestive enzymes, thereby suspending the hunger. But in this case, if you use warm water, it gets to the temperature of the stomach and thereby hastening the workings. Within 30 minutes and 10 minutes, you are ready and your arsenal will not fail. Thank you. <laughs> Indeed, it will not fail. Let me drop my Dr. Kati for today. <laughs> if health of the body or of the mind is a defeat, health alone is victory. Hence, let all men strive to live a healthy life. Because any man that is too busy to take care of his health is like a mechanic that is too busy to take care of his tools. Sure. Ha! That is, that is deep. So, uh Okay, you want to add anything? Yes, that's it. yes. Uh, uh, if we are to link problems associated with diabetes, hypertension, and the others, we will come to conditions of overweight, obesity. If you don't take care of yourself, you become too heavy, you become like a lump of wood. And if you are the type that your wife is the one initiating sexual escapade, initiating sexual intercourse, you are in problem already. Visit us as fast as possible. Do I drop in just WhatsApp only? Okay. Yes. You can visit my WhatsApp to enable you have a private interaction with me, which will lead to your male sexuality. And my number is 080-23-65-25-17. That is the WhatsApp number. All right. Mr. Adema, I'm sure you got that already. So to discuss with Dr. Daniel personally, we've got the number. You can even watch the video again, yeah. okay, to get the number. Please, men, learn to take care of your health. You know, it's amazing that you see men run away from issues of health. I mean, what are we talking about? What exactly? Is it, is it ego? Or, or is it, what exactly? But please take care of your health. Take care of, it is health. That is the new wealth. Yes. If you amass all the wealth in this world and you, have, you don't have some else, you honestly do not have anything. Learn to take care of your else. You want to drop something? Yes. Uh, it's to, to the, 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 the elderly people. There was a superstition going around that a woman who had hit menopause is not to be populated, it's not to have sexual intercourse with. I, I'm here to disabuse your mind. Oh. Any woman who had reached menopause is not a disease. It is just a reduction in the flow of estrogen from the follicle-stimulating hormone, utilizing hormone of the ovaries. At any time, all estrogen is not secreted in impulse. It's secreted uh, naturally 
it leaves the, the vagina dry and instruction becomes difficult. I think that's the only pain. But if you are the type that understands foreplay, you will be able to get the woman to release the last quantity that is left of estrogen to lubricate the vulva that will facilitate insertion. And such woman may have what we call high libido. High libido in the sense that she may be highly sexually driven, but since you have abandoned her, it makes her not plus in the issues of sexuality. There is another that says Kosarubo, Kosarubo Nigana. Kosarubo Nigana. Kosarubo Nigana. Okay. Why is this so? Because most of the women in Ghana are still sexually active. If you look at their lifestyle, they don't take anything sweet. Mm. Even the popular kenke is a little bit grippy to the mouth, bitter. Mm. Let me not put it bitter, grippy to the mouth. And it's devoid of sugar because the sugar content in that corn which we they produce it has been eliminated. So I put it to you that whosoever that had, had his wife hit menopause should not run away from the wife, but give the wife the sexuality she needs because it increases immunity. Ecstasy is the immunity. So if she is happy, you are happy. Don't abandon her like a long ago because she had hit menopause. This is what I submit. On, on <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Dan. Before you give us your final words, let's take this question from Julie on our Facebook page. Now, I said, uh, it is advised in literature not to use the other products for breastfeeding mothers. How do you ascertain the safety when you say you use revive for a woman who just delivered? Good. When revive gets into a system, it uses the one that is biovita to the system. Such things that cannot be used by a pregnant woman is some things like resin that will reduce the flow of uh, uh, milk from the mammarian ducts. But in a case when a woman delivered and is gasping for breath or for energy, I could mix revive with some other things to enhance and I have done it clinically and it works. So it will not vitiate the substance in the milk. So don't you worry. And if application is something, you need to speak with me to enable me, let you know how to use I'll it. Don't self-medicate. Don't self-medicate. Don't self-medicate. Don't try on your own. No. Please don't self-medicate. You, 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 you have to you have to see me. You can come to my WhatsApp my Instagram or my Facebook page. Or you send us a message. Send, us send a, message. a message to us on our Facebook page at Kelly yeah. Healthcare Industries on our Instagram handle at Kelly Healthcare underscore official. Send us a message and then we'll know how to link you up with Dr. Dan. Please do not self-medicate. Please, 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 please. And please, so finally, sir, your final words. Now, what are your final your words for men with regards to the like physical attitude to health? This thing is really paining me. I want to just say a few things on this. And then we'll go. Yes. Every man should be responsible. Most times when we talk about infertility, frigidity in women, or uh, sexual problem, I mean, uh, infertility in women, men try to dodge. Exactly. I will, at any time I treat infection uh, for a woman, the husband must be available. But it's always difficult getting them to yeah. come to us. Yeah. They always be quick. Blame to the women. You know, there, sh there should be a change of mind. Yes. I'm here by disabusing their, their, their mind. That uh, when in the past, they always say the woman did not give birth mm -hmm. to a baby boy because uh, he's infertile. No. Because the, the baby boy issue, fertilization, which in the zygote, is as a result of the Y chromosome exactly. that comes from the man. And the woman has two X chromosomes, the man has X and Y chromosomes. Until that man releases the Y chromosomes, there can never be fertilization. And there are issues related to release or high quantity of Y chromosome, which you can contact me on my WhatsApp and Instagram to enable me let you know how to get a higher rate of the Y chromosome for you to attain your ambition. 
in the Eastern world, if a man did not give birth to, if a, if a woman did not give birth to a male child, it's somewhat ostracized. And that man will end up not being regarded in the community circle. Or he, they always say there's nobody to inherit. Any of the, of the sex is as good, but uh, having both is still the best. I thank God I'll be blessed with that. So. <laughs> All right then, I am sure you enjoyed every bit of this edition and it's a wrap on this edition of Talk to Kelly. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have to leave now. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Daniel, for coming. Thank you so much. Till I come you your for way. Me. All right, till I come your way next time, please don't stop taking care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take our um, Kelly Health uh, products and then take good care of yourself. Remember that it is else that is the real wealth, not just pieces of gold and silver. I remain a regular host, Sarah Ibuna. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.